and welcome to the session on Factor Theory. This is brought to you by Handa Kafanda. Before we begin with any sort of Factor Theory, we need to understand the difference between prime numbers and composite numbers. Prime numbers are those which have only one and itself as its factors. Composite numbers are all the others. For example, 2, what are the factors? 1 and 2. 3, what are the factors? 1 and 3. 17, what are the factors? 1 and 17. These are my prime numbers. 4, for example, is a composite number. Its factors are 1, 2 and 4. So there is an extra factor, 2. 8 is a composite number. It has 1, 2, 4, 8 as its factors. 12 is a composite number. It has 1, 2, 3, 6, 4 and 12 as its factors. As you can see, 2, 3, 4 and 6 are other than 1 in itself. So it's once again a composite number. So my prime numbers would be something of the sort of 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23 and so on. The other numbers which are 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16 and so on will be my composite numbers. The problem case here is 1. 1 has only one factor which is 1 itself. That is the reason why 1 is classified as neither prime nor composite. Please remember a lot of students make mistake in this. 1 is neither a prime number nor a composite number. Suppose I have a number which is of the format of a to the power p into b to the power q into c to the power r. Then what is the number of factors that it is going to have? Please remember a, b, c are prime numbers and p, q, r are their integral parts. Number of factors of n will be given by p plus 1 into q plus 1 into r plus 1 and so on. If I want to find out the number of ways in which n can be expressed as a product of two factors, that will be given by phi n by if it is even and phi n plus or minus 1 by 2 if phi n is odd. Let's look at that for a little more. If phi n is odd, what does that mean? That means p plus 1, q plus 1 and r plus 1, all of them are odd. Which means p, q and r, they are all even. Which essentially means that if phi n is odd, all my powers p, q, r are even or n is a perfect square. So you will need to look at the question very carefully. If the question says product of two factors, then it will be phi n plus 1 by 2. For example, 16 can be expressed as 4 into 4. However, if it says that in how many ways can 16 be expressed as a product of two distinct factors, then it will be phi n minus 1 by 2 because 4 into 4 will become invalid in that case. What will happen if the question says in how many ways can they be expressed? as a product of two co-prime factors, then it would be two to the power of m minus one, where m is the number of prime factors that my number n has. In the previous case, if you remember, they were a to the power p into e to the power q into c to the power r. In this particular case, m is equal to 3. Let us look at a few examples. For example, if my number is 48, that is effectively 2 to the power 4 into 3. The number of factors that 48 is going to have is 4 plus 1 into 1 plus 1. The power of 3 is 1 here. That is 5 into 2, 10. Shall, shall we count them out? 1, 2, 3. 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, and 48, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In how many ways can 48 be expressed as a product of two factors? You remember the answer for that was phi n by 2 since it is even. Let's check it. 1 into 48, 2 into 24, 3 into 16, 4 into 12 and 6 into 8. There are indeed 
five ways in which it can be expressed as a product of two factors. For the product of two co-prime factors, our answer was m2 to the power of m minus 1. m in this case is 1, 2. So this would be 2 to the power of 2 minus 1, which is 2. Let's see. 1 into 48, both of, uh, both of them are co-prime to each other, so that is a valid value. 2 into 24 is not, HCF is 2. 3 into 16, they are co-prime, that's a valid value. 4 into 12, HCF is 4, so no. 6 into 8, HCF is 2, so no. Once again, you can see that the formula is valid. Let us take a perfect square for an example. Say the number is 36. 36 can be written as 2 square into 3 square, which means number of factors in this case is 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 1, which is 9. As you can see here, it has emerged that the number of factors are odd. That has happened because 2 plus 1 is odd and 2 plus 1 is odd. That has happened because 2 and 2 are odd. 2 and 2 are even and that has happened because my number 36 is a perfect square. In how many ways can it be expressed as a product of two factors? That would be 1 into 36, 2 into 18, 3 into 12, 4 into 9 and 6 into 6. The factors, if you want to note, they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18 and 36 or the 9 factors. Now, depending upon the question, if the question says in how many ways can they be expressed as a product of two factors, if you remember the formula was 5n plus 1 by 2, which in this case will be 9 plus 1 by 2 or 5, my 5 ways. However, if the question was in how many ways can a number n be expressed as a product of two co-prime factors, then my formula would be 5n minus 1 by 2 or 9 minus 1 by 2, which is 4. In this case, I take only these values and 6 into 6 will be neglected because they are not distinct. However, if the question was in how many ways can they be expressed as a product of two co-prime factors, then my formula 2 to the power m minus 1 will still be valid. m in this case is 2 because it has two prime factors. So that is 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 or 2. And those two values here are 1 into 36, they are co-prime, 2 and 18 are not, 3 and 12 are not, and 4 and 9. So these are the two values that I am referring to here. That wraps up the session on factor theory. Please stay tuned at Handa Gafanda to watch other videos on other chapters. Thank you.